Hey, it's like a big guitar wall. Now let's have some fun with this neck. Uh, I'm at full string tension on the uh, on the Dorado again. As you can see, this is opened up. It doesn't open up a whole lot. It opens up a little bit. Um, and we are going to go ahead and shoot some glue in there. The first thing um, that I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get out any old glue or any debris that I can. Um, because old glue doesn't stick really good to old glue unless you're using hide glue. And uh, I can't tell you whether they're using hide glue on this or not. I'm going to guess no. Um, see, I can't get two, I can't even get it folded up to go in there. It'll only take one. This is nice getting stabbed in the head with this. That's great. Now comes the fun part, trying to get the glue into there. Now, I don't, this is probably not going to work, so but we're going to try it anyway. Since I happen to have a diabetic cat, I have these little teeny tiny tuberculin syringes. And uh, I know it's not going to work, but I'm going to try to uh, see if we can't get the glue to come out through there. If not, we're going to have to cut the end of this off and see if we can't come up with something that will maybe fit in there because there's just no room in there. Um, and the worst case scenario, what we can do is I could do the best I can to get the glue in there and then we'll shoot, we could shoot it in there with some compressed air. That's not the way I, I'd want to do it. I'd much rather get it in there the way I can get it in there, but we'll see what we come up with. Probably a really good shot of the back of my hand. the string tension that will begin to close up and then we're going to put the big strap on it Are we squeezing out yet sure doesn't look like it That's a great noise, isn't it? Well, that's where we're at. Alright, well, I got a little bit of squeeze out from it. Not a whole lot. Um, but I got some, and, uh, well, that's what, uh, hey, works better if I get in the picture, isn't it? Uh, that's what there is. Um, I don't want to crank on it too much harder. Um, like I said, I got a little bit of squeeze out on it, and we'll go from there. Hey kids, welcome back. 
Um, and if you are one of the people who is offended when I say stuff like, Hey kids, welcome back. You need to find another channel. This is not the channel for you. You are a little too uptight. Um, Alright, this thing has sat for over a week after it has been glued. So now we are going to, hopefully, slowly, maybe not slowly, there we go. pull the tension off of her here. And I'll be honest with you, um, I mean, I pounded a ton of glue in there, and I got a bunch of squeeze out on the sides, and we are not, it did not make a tremendous amount of difference. Let's try to go in for the closey close here. Not a huge amount of difference there. And uh, that was with the string tension relaxed down to nothing. And uh, <clears throat> so, and I spent a good deal of time trying to clean all the schmutz out of there. So, all right, well, all we got left to do really is uh, to build this thing. I've, uh, we've already got the curve built into this. That was determined off of the radius of the fretboard. Now I'm just going to sand down or file down and compensate this saddle. It's a bone saddle. Wear a mask. Anytime you're making any kind of powder or dust, wear a mask. Now, um, what I did here was I went ahead and I put a piece of tape down just because I don't want to, I'm compensating this part of the saddle to lean forwards and then this part of the saddle will be leaning backwards and I don't want to confuse the two and it's just, I don't want to screw it up. So that's why I did that. All right, and here I've, uh, I've just moved my piece of tape over because now we're going to file the rest of the saddle off the opposite direction. Anyways, so here's the dealio, kids. Um, we know that this is too tall okay so what I've done is I put a capo on the first fret and I want to get a measurement of what my string action is going to be here at the 12th fret because that measurement will tell me how much I need to lower this 764's on the base side and we're 864s, and there's a cat bumping me in the butt. Thank you, buddy. That's great. Whatever I want to lower this amount by, I have to double it to take it off of the bridge here. So let's say that I want to take this down 1 64th, then I'm going to have to take 2 64ths off of this bridge. That's kind of how you make that adjustment. So let's uh, make that adjustment. Uh, hey kids, we're back. Um, so I have lowered this um, and I wrote all my measurements down here just so that I wouldn't screw them up. Uh, I have, it's actually taken me like three tries to get this down to where we want to. And my action at the 12th fret um, I've got 664s or 332s 
um, which seems okie dokie to me. My relief um, after um, after some interesting twisting of trying to get this truss rod um, to kind of free itself up a little bit. Uh, I'm the measurement that I shoot for is 12 thou and I'm at 10, but I don't know that I'm going to get any more oomph out of the truss rod. Um, action at the nut is supposed to be between 15 and 30 thou and mine measures out at 25. Um, it intonates okay. I'm off a little bit here and there. Part of that is just inexperience doing this. Um, the other part is I looked and looked and looked and looked and I couldn't find it and then sitting right here in front of my face the whole time is actually my nut blank. Um, so that's going to be another episode. Um, but anyways, she's, uh, she's, she's back and playing and sounds great. A little jangly still. Yeah, let's do this. Still super duper bright. six bucks will get you a crappy cup of coffee somewhere so uh, anyways there we are um, I guess the next episode we'll do on this will be making a new bone nut out of it have a good one folks hey folks thanks for watching the train wreck we appreciate you being along for the ride make sure you like rattle can guitar restorations over on the Facebook the Twitter as well as the Instagram if you haven't done so, go ahead and like us over on the YouTube. We're posting new videos every Wednesday, and you never know what you're going to see around here. Thanks again for watching, folks. Have a good one.